get some favorites, grow that list, get it up, uh, reach out to Emoji J. He can get you on featured shows. There's other shows um, such as game shows, there's trivia shows, there's dating shows, there's cooking shows, there's shows about traveling. There's, there are shows on this app about all kinds of stuff. So if you're looking to get on a show or if you have a idea for a show, please reach out, please reach out to Emoji J and he can send you in the right direction. Um, or you can reach out to myself. Um, I probably will take a little bit longer to get back than Jay will, though. I'm just going to keep it real. Um, <laughs> my friends will tell you, I don't, I don't mean to, I don't mean it. It's just, you know, sometimes life happens and I get busy and I still love everybody, but um, yeah, so I'm not always the fastest at responses. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, remember to be kind. Do not be a turd burglar. I, I, we have zero tolerance for it. There's this one hour a week that I do this show here. And if you come in here and you try, try to disrupt the vibe, you're gone. I ain't even going to play with you. It's not worth it. Um, I, uh, yeah, zero bully tolerance. It, it takes a lot to get yourself on here and make yourself vulnerable to people. Um, but those are some of the best people because without people who are willing to share their backstory, their, their history, their, 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 their life struggle. And this is pretty much what this is. This is their life struggle and they're sharing it with us. Right. So that we know we're not alone in our own struggles so that we know that, Hey, they got through this. So can we, um, you're not going to relate to everybody that hops on the show, but I will tell you, I personally learned something from every single guest on my show. Um, so I hope that you guys will stick around. Uh, we're gonna do the Q and Q. Um, this one I picked because it kind of relates to, thank you. It kind of relates to uh, what I'm gonna talk about. Um, we're gonna get Mr. Fox in the box for a few minutes and then, or for his, his, and then I will finish the show off with continuing with this. But we will start with this and I'll get you guys thinking too. And this says the future is called perhaps, which is the only possible thing to call the future. And the important thing is not to allow that to scare you. What one thing about the future scares you? What one thing about the future scares you? So this correlates with, and I'll give you a little peek, um, a preview of what we're going to be talking about. The, the one thing that changes me is, that scares me is change. I am a creature of habit. And when things go awry, I don't know what to do with myself, right? Um, what are you eating? Hey, hold on. Ah, 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 spit that out. That's caca. Caca. Darcy, no, no. Come on. Hey, don't you growl at me like that. That's caca. Hey, please. Don't, hey, don't bite me. You don't eat that. That's what you have food for. Sorry, guys. I don't know what my dog was eating, but it's not edible, so I had to get it from him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Something I'm afraid of. What in the hell my damn dog's gonna digest and cost me at the vet next, okay? This dog. No, go lay down. You just bit my finger when I tried to get that out of your mouth. I'm mad at you and I'm hosting my show. Go lay down. No, go lay down. Damn it, he didn't give me hard, but he got me enough, you know? Like, Jesus. Okay, hi. Uh, welcome to Lessons Learned. Sorry. Um, other things I'm uncertain of, what my dog's going to consume. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys, so this here is our Q&Q. &Q. I read the quote, I ask the question. The future is called perhaps, which is the only possible thing to call the future. And the important thing is not to allow that to scare you. What well, one thing about the future scares you. Um, yeah, for me, it's just the change. It's the unknown. It's what's next. Um, why isn't that working? 
sorry. Okay. Um, but Mr. Fox, if you are ready, you can request the box. We are gonna have you hop in. Oh, Jay Raz, um, we'll keep you in our prayers and positive vibes. Um, that's my my mom, my grandpa, my aunt have all been been through it, but. I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it's a rough go at it, but two of the three for me um, have survived and are still here many years later. So I'll, I'll, I'll take those odds. Um, unfortunately, my grandfather's was many, many years ago before a lot of this advanced equipment stuff, and um, we weren't as successful with him. Um, but yeah, I am sending you nothing but positive vibes, sending mom nothing, your mom nothing but positive vibes, well wishes and healing thoughts. But all right, here we go, Mr. Fox, let's do this. Hi. Good morning. Welcome back. Hey, How have you been? Absolutely spectacular. How's the sound? Thank you for the wheels, guys. If you sound good. You sound good. Um, so I guess let's just, uh, what are we going to be chit-chatting about today? Uh, so let's talk about that question. Should I answer that question to start? Yeah, Would that be nice? It. Go for it. Absolutely nothing. You're not scared of anything? I am. I'm scared of lots. Not only uh, do I have zero fears about the future, I cannot honestly remember the last time I've ever felt uncomfortable, embarrassed, or anything. Um, I've never really, I haven't really been uncomfortable or embarrassed in a while. I think my kids, their future and their stuff kind of, it makes me nervous. I'm not going to say I'm scared, but you know, the, the world's a little bit angry right now. And that makes me nervous. That's the key word. The key word is fear. And the majority of people fear the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen, not knowing where you'll be, yeah. but fear itself is not real. You, what you fear is something unknown. If you are in the water and you're out in the middle of the ocean and you jump off a boat and that water is pitch black and it's not, you're sitting there thinking, Whoa! exact same location, middle of the day, sun shining, and you're swimming like it's nothing. What's changed? It's the exact same situation, just the conditions. So if you take time to look at your conditions and things around you, for example, for me, I'm sitting here in blue light. I'm extremely relaxed. I'm chill. You had your dog over there doing stuff. You mm -hmm. can't control that. I control this. Now you've welcomed me on your show, so let me get more comfortable. Everybody knows where I'm comfortable. Outside. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's actually super nice out here today. I've got the doors wide open. and So that's even to the point where... Now that I'm going inside outside, I screw in that light because it changes the vibe when that light is on. So now we come up here, and then what I do is so as soon as I come in from outside, I'm in darkness because I'm gonna need a break. Now, Lily, what is the lesson that I said I was gonna be talking about? I haven't, I didn't look. Oh. The lesson I will be talking I about. Trying to get ready and get up and get moving this morning. I haven't even. And I know I, 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 you've been on before, so I know that you're, you're, you know what to expect or whatever. No, I'm comfortable. My lesson is how I've streamed every day this year so far. Give me one sec. Hey, get off my fence! Sorry, it's the squirrels. The squirrels. <laughs> it's a new fence. It's a new fence. So I, I. If I'm out here, hey, squirrels, no, I snipe squirrels. Uh, so my lesson is how I streamed every day this year so far and every day of 2023, and I don't see an end coming to the streak. Okay. So what, uh, I've, up until, 
up until January, I streamed just about every single day, unless like I had work or I was sick, you know, sick and stuff. But this, this January took a toll on me. I was super sick the first two weeks, the third week I got the flu. And then last week I had strep. So I am <coughs> beyond thankful that this week there's no ickies. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. What, so what, what makes you, what, what, what is it that makes you get on here every day? Let me ask that. I'm curious. I love it. I love it. I've found a way for it to be incorporated into my life where it's made my life better in many different aspects, including becoming a better person for myself, becoming a better streamer for myself and for others. And most importantly, I found Nat, who's the love of my life on this app. That's my girlfriend. And 2024's goal is meeting Matt in person. Aww. I, I want to I wanna just, it's all bleh. <laughs> feelings ew <laughs> you guys need to throw up go ahead we're outside just don't get it on my carpet please <laughs> i'm happy for you guys that's i see i'm so i'm i'm too afraid to to to, to put myself out there it's been years it's the been key years. is we not neither one of us put ourselves out there we just started talking. She was going through a tough time. And I said, okay, I'm putting everything aside, attraction, what her situation is, what my situation is, work, whatever. I said, hey, you're going through something, something. Just check in every day. Even if it's a, hey, just check it in. I'm good. Peace. And it right. just started from there. And it just blossomed into every day. We got to know each other. She has a little one. I don't have a little one, but I have my nephew who's 20, my niece is. 15 and then my sister's another baby who's just over one now so i've experience with children i've worked in a lot of jobs where i've been managers of facilities as a grown six foot three 250 pound black man not that color matters but it does in the real world where people walk in and they see me they lighten up because their kids come running to me because i always duck down on my mommy knees give them a big hug uncle fox hey what's happening jimmy hey right kids it's it i i uh, kids are only afraid of kind of mostly what they're taught to be afraid of as far as as that kind of stuff goes um it's i've like, never met one kid that looks at a room of people and points out the color of the skin um i mean i guess the occasionally you know i i can't say that like i had my one friend over and she she's white and the father's black and the baby's mixed and um my one little friend <laughs> she, it was it was the only color baby and that was the first time that that toddler had seen so but that was an innocent thing you know what i mean it wasn't meant to be cruel or anything like that the baby was just genuinely curious because of the really dark curls and the really dark hair and everyone else was blonde you know but it was it was a cute interaction but the baby wasn't judged the baby just had questions you know like why why you know and i think that <clears throat> If we all kind of had that innocent mindset again, I think that would be wonderful. If we all realized we're realistically one race, the human race, we all have hearts, we all bleed blood, we all breathe air. Uh, most of us have two eyes, two ears, one nose and a mouth, you know? Okay, Kids yeah. are like adults without filters. So what's stopping adults from being adults without filters in certain situations, but always remember the foundations, which are respect, loyalty yep. and just not disturbing somebody's peace if you disturb somebody's peace you were doing something wrong because they did not ask you to disturb their peace now if they try to disturb your peace and you absolutely obliterate them and make them regret it well then that's their fault they open that door i agree um claire i think maybe it might depend on who you are and where you're from, but I wouldn't say that that innocence isn't encouraged everywhere. And I would definitely say that there's safe places if you find the right people. Um, I have my safe spaces and anybody who's taken the time to get to know me knows that I'm a safe space for them. Um, this is my safe place. So, Everybody knows I love outside. I love my grass. I love my fence. And that's what happened to your squirrels, Ellis. Your squirrels are <laughs> fence. Get off my fence. 
I mean, you guys gotta, you gotta, you know, open yourselves up to the right people. It's hard. This is. I think maybe for some children, but I also think that that there's more safe spaces than we think. Um, I think that maybe in some situations, children, you know, their their home front might not be okay, but they're in the school still okay. So, it, the scary world that we live in now. For a lot of children, school is a lot safer than home. And it, it, it's just, like everybody said, a lot of people fear change. A lot of people fear the unknown. A lot of people fear what's going to happen next week, next month, next year, next 10 years. A lot of people fear, oh my God, if Trump becomes president. Well, what can you do to impact that? A lot of times there's very little you can play your part but don't try to cut down the redwood with the nail file right now x i completely disagree children are forced they're not they're too stuck in their computers to grow up these kids nowadays cannot take care of themselves where my daughter's at to where i'm at and i'm even more pushy than most parents right and she still so I completely disagree yeah. with that. I disagree. I completely with that. disagree with that. <laughs> I side with you, Lily, because I will say something that will just let you guys know. Back in my day, and to this day, I can change a spare tire like this. You go out there and ask a hundred dudes from the age of eight. Dudes are girls. Let's take sex out of it, but hundred dudes. Very few of them will know how to change a tire. Whereas back in the day, they all know how to change a tire. Now, what uh, X might be saying is kids are more so now exposed to more. They're able to see more quicker and access more easier. But if they have the right parents and the right guidance, they will stay on the path. Yeah. And that's why I've let my daughter be more on the younger, immature side than on that other side and growing up so fast because man she's only a kid once and i feel like a lot of these kids they just need to be kids um i think that with the internet the kids should know more than they do for sure right because of youtube's right at their fingertips um everything is on youtube but also i really would like I, okay, here, you want to know what's been really sad to me? As I live in a lot of developments, I live in kind of a ritzy suburbia type area, right? Lots of families. Um, we're talking over 200 kids per class level, okay? So, like, there's, there, there, there's I think, 1,200 kids at our high school or something like that. You know what I mean? So, like, right. we're a huge family area. And can I tell you, driving through the streets on beautiful days, you don't see kids outside anymore. Very true. Back when we were growing up, if it was not downpouring, thunderstorming, lightning, some crazy bizarre weather, we weren't allowed inside. It was get outside. You're thirsty? Good. There's a hose. Go. <laughs> you know, and it was like I rode all around town. Um, I got on my bike and I'd go down to the park and go to the library. I'd go to the, the ice cream shop up the way and I spent all day out and going i tell people this think about why there's so much money and why you guys always hear about cancer as a whole lung breast prostate all of that you hear about cancer research but you very rarely hear about cancer prevention mm -hmm. one prime example put more money into resources regarding mental health, which will lead to less people smoking weed, cigarettes, and anything of the sort, lung cancer mm -hmm. rates decrease significantly. However, that's a lot less people buying drugs, medication, getting therapy, and paying money to la la la. Yeah, I think, and then too, the internet is teaching these kids to be a lot more 
they're meaner, right? They're trying to fit in this cool group and, and they're just mean and they sit behind these little, these screens and they're these keyboard warriors trying to boost their ego. And I'm sorry, but like, if I ever catch my kid doing some crap like that, holy cheese and rice, she will be in for it. Because I'm telling you right now, I don't accept bullying over here. I won't let you go at my friends. And if I find out that one of my children has done so, ooh, boy. Prime example, guys. Think about the Tide Pod Challenge. As a kid, I did the stupidest of stupid things. Not once did I ever think about putting any sort of laundry detergent in my mouth. And the fact that they had to come out and specifically tell people, stop doing this, I'm like, what? is wrong with you and your parents one the fact that you have access to them if you're a child from the age of two to 52 if you have the mentality that you want to eat a type of guess what as a parent i'm keeping that locked up hidden in i'm six three top hidden cupboard yeah i'm fortunate that neither of my kids have fallen a victim to those stupid challenges now i can't say my son he's probably done some dumber stuff than eating a tide pod cinnamon challenge? hey i've never done it but you want to go ahead that is cinnamon Edible. nope nope facts yeah, Jay. People are doing it Oh, Glenn, wake up to the conversation, please, for the cheat for just the love of everything. Holy. Welcome okay. yourself to the conversation and listen, guys. But you are watching Lessons Learned. My name is Silly Lily, and this is Mr. Fox. Make sure you're giving him a favorite. Um, we're kind of talking about like finding your happy place and safe zones, and it kind of spread out to to kids and um, you know how they need to just be able to be kids right you just have to it's it's hard it's kids hard. need to remain kids for as long as possible but more importantly those kids need mature adults and if you guys watch these clouds go by this is actually pretty amazing kids need responsible adults to guide them in the right direction so gun violence goes down it violence is. goes down all of these smash and grabs where you're getting a group of 20 passive immature children running into a mall smashing and grabbing everything they're like hey strength in numbers no weakness in numbers i think that um i think the internet makes the kids way more tempted than they should be um i think parents need to especially when you've got like 12 13 14 year olds on the phone um, they, they want to fit in so bad and they want to be accepted, right? And some, some of the kids get online and they, they find a group and then, you know, sometimes things go south and it's, it's kind of, it still is up to parents to make sure to check the kid's phone and make sure that what they're on isn't, you know, a, a super negative thing. But I think that some schools are pushing topics that don't need to be in schools right now as well. Um, and I'm sorry, but as a mom, there's just certain things that I will teach my child when I'm good and damn ready. And it is not up to the schools to, to bring non-educational things to my child's attention, right? We don't need to force that. We need to let these kids just be these damn kids. It's just, I, I, I couldn't imagine if my child came home from school and told me that some really tall ladies with a lot of makeup were dancing around, shaking their booty in my school, my kid's school. I would lose my ever loving mind. Feel me? That's how we're doing. Now my kids, 1819, has questions about that. Let's go check it out. It's a great show, and I am honestly have a blast. But my six-year-old, that's none of their concern. Do you feel I would me? That situation differently. I would go to that school, whether it be during the day, school hours, obviously, and I would go there, and I am not leaving that school until I sit down with that principal and have a conversation. Now, what's our conversation going to be about? Well, we'll see. That's above everybody's pay grade. But that's how I am. I go straight. 
direct the very first week of school, guys. Side note. I was out of the mall. I was, I'm retired, right? So I'm out during the day running my errands. I was coming out of, I was about to, was I going in? I was going into a Tim Hortons, but I was about 40, 50 steps away. So I hear these guys come out and they turn back and they're yelling at this guy. And then I look back and it was a guy who's probably in his 50s, if not 60s or 30s or 40s in rough shape. But he had one of those walkers where if you get tired, you put on the brakes, you turn around, you sit down. So as I'm walking, I knew exactly what it was because one of the guys was my height. There was like seven of them around. They're all like, ah! so as I see the guy, I'm like, what happened? He's like, those guys just pushed me out of the way because I was taking too long to get out of their way. I'm like, why didn't they just push open the second door? He's like, well, because I pushed the button and want to go through. What does Fox do? I decided at that time, should I teach these guys physically or should I teach them in a way that they'll never forget? So I said, let's go the other route. I got my coffee, walked to their school, walked in, spoke with the principal. As I'm sitting there speaking with the principal, he's like, who's the guy? I'm like, see that kid walking by the window right there? And the principal's like, a week later, that principal called me back, and me and that principal have talked several times, and that kid's different now. Because mm -hmm. I decided, I had time, I said, I'm not going to yell at this kid, I'm not going to, you know, physically do whatever. No, nope. kid's 16, 17, now I'm not getting in trouble, I'm going to that school. Not only did that principal talk to the kid, not only did they have an assembly, they spoke to that kid's parents, were very important in the, in the area, and let's just say they got in a lot of trouble. Sorry. Fact, no, no, do you I was removing somebody. I have seen every single comment that's gone by. Yeah, me too. I'm try. I try not to kick people out of my show because I want people to get the message. But that one, I'm done with. <laughs> Just uh, I don't even know what the last comment means, but I'm over it. <laughs> hey guys, uh, you guys want to see Lily learn a lesson right now? Lily, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Look beside your head and what do you notice? Beside my head? Mm -hmm. You? <laughs> no, no, no. On the wall. My heart? No, the other side. Like this? My yeah, board? there's something between this and what's on your wall. Oh, the two X's? <laughs> I thought about it when I sat down and I looked at your name. X, but I, didn't I am not that. him. That is the, someone different. I have two X's. One X, you can type on other platforms. Two X's, you can't. How am I going to go stream on other platforms if I can't type two X's? That Why disrespect. I'm not kidding you. I go over to other platforms. Like, hey, Mr. F-O, asterisk, asterisk. Hey! There. Okay. Thank you. Lessons learned. <laughs> so okay so back to the streaming thing what is if, if you could tell somebody who's contemplating on joining the streaming world be it as a gifter or as a streamer what maybe one or two things would you tell the newbies watch and learn what a lot of people try to focus is on what do I do right to get more faves, more money, more diamonds, more clout? Watch and learn what people do wrong and try to avoid making those mistakes. It's a lot easier because you've already seen what the results are. You don't have to go through the six, eight months, two years to get bamboozled by somebody who's talking to you sweet for three months and then poof, rug pull. I Staying in lane, and if Just anybody enters your lane, you know. two years, it, see? It's really easy for people to put on the front on here, you know? Um, I stream because I want to normalize. It's okay to not always be okay. So I'm one of the few streamers that I take you on all my adventures, and when I'm on here you know you guys see all the sides of me i've been on this app bawling my eyes out i've been on this app screaming my head off at, you know for not at anybody specifically but because i'm pissed off about something that happened and then you guys just see me at some of my best moments 
Um, you guys, this, this app has gotten me through some of my worst days and I, they didn't even know it, you know? Um, yeah, that too, <laughs> that too, Raz. Um, but, the you, I, I think that people need to understand that like you pay for Netflix, you pay for Hulu, you pay if you're going to go on an entertainment, like go watch wrestling or whatever you, you, you pay for that, right? You pay to be entertained and a streamer's job is to entertain you. So if you're able to, and it is not mandatory by any means, if you don't have it, that's okay. You can contribute by commenting, hitting the, the hitting the hearts, you know, putting through there. Make sure you favorite Mr. Fox. He's great, you know, and that that little bit of stuff is other ways you can help the streamer grow without having to spend money. And that's okay. Because if your streamer is genuinely your friend, money is the last thing they care about. Now, if you've got someone that's constantly pushing, 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 why well, did I gifted you this and you didn't this and blah, 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 blah. well, you're you're you you, you, you should double Turn check that friendship. <laughs> I would even double check it. Cut about and just say, you know what? They're not appreciating what I'm doing. I'm gonna stop appreciate. I'm stop doing what they're. I was doing, yep. and even more, they come and question that. I'll be like, I stopped because you didn't appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. but well. I felt like you did not appreciate it and I took time to evaluate and I've made my decision. Yeah, we're still cool. I'm not going to talk bad about you, but just no more support. Right, right, right. Yeah, I think that <clears throat> that's something that a lot of people need to understand. And if you're someone new to the live streaming apps and stuff that you got to remember a lot of streamers are here for the entertainment part of it. We're not here for dating. Now, don't get me wrong. If I, you know, let's say, I can't use you, Mr. Fox, because you got Nat. Let's say, let's say Beth. Beth, you're gonna be my victim. I mean, my partner. <laughs> let's say Beth and I, we we get to chit chatting on here, right? And I'm like, oh, Beth is really cute. And then I want to meet Beth. You know, Beth might not be who she said she is. Like I might go there, and and it might not be any. No, it is. She's exactly who she says she is. Hold I've on, met I, Beth. She's amazing. My bad. Hold on. I have, I have to sneeze. Catfish breath. Excuse me. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not um, saying she is. I'm just saying hypothetically. <laughs> I've met Beth. I actually Beth hired me to go do some work on her house. So I drove to her and stayed with her for a week, and um, I did some remodeling stuff in her home. So, but Beth is amazing. But you can't jump into stuff, and you can't just assume things about people. You have to take your time getting to know them. Um, and remember that when you are supporting people, your name goes on their board. And if, if you haven't spent time with them and you go in and you see them once and things are okay and things are great, but then you go in the next time and maybe they're, they're in a verse and they're bashing somebody you know maybe there's an older hey, I'm taking, hey i'm taking off is are you talking about me i take offense to this go ahead go ahead go ahead maybe they're in a battle maybe they're ripping and, uh, someone. you're on this person's board and and they're over here ripping someone apart and that's not something that you enjoy you're you know you don't want to be seen as someone who supports someone like that so i think it's important too that you take your time I'm not saying not support you. You're not I'm a bully. Ask anybody in this chat. Okay, you don't bully me. <laughs> because I don't bully you. And I think that that's the big thing. I'm not going to lie. If you come at me, I'm going to give it right back. You know, uh, my one of my favorite lines is, you know, you might run into two people and one might tell you I'm a beautiful, genuine soul. And the other one might tell you I'm the biggest jerk off that they've ever met. And you know what? They're both right. I act accordingly. I bully bullies. That's it. Nope. I bully bullies. You bully I, other people. I don't necessarily bully bullies. I shut them down. They can't. They can't win with me. I shut them down. Look, I was I was 200 pounds, barely five foot, with an afro and a, a, a big, huge gap between my teeth in seventh grade. There is nothing you guys can say to me now that they didn't say to me when I was 12. You're describing me now just with no hair. 
I'm two fifty. I did so I have I naturally got. curly hair. And nobody in my family ever had curly hair except my dad, and he cut it off. So nobody, when I was growing up, knew how to take care of my hair. And my mom would brush it. And when I was done brushing, when I tell you, my hair was like out to here, like this. And my mom oh, thought it was cute to cut bangs. Afro looks when like. I was little, and my bangs were doing these curly things, sticking up like little devil horns on all weird sides of my head. It was awful. I, I, I was, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but as an adult i sit here i'm like there's nothing y'all can say to me that i haven't already heard and i'm way more confident in who i am now as a person than i ever was right so come at me bring it it's easy i don't give everybody a warning when I give people my warnings, I just make sure there's an audience. So now my warning goes out to 40, 50 different people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now 40, 50 different people are like, fuck that. I'm not. Hey. hey. <laughs> right? Nah. Like, I don't want no part of that. Really that's, good. Yeah. And that's how I roll. And I tell people, I'll kick my mom. I'll block my mom from my stream. If you piss me off, you out. I don't care. I've blocked VIPs, boss badges, top badges, my good friends. I will block you if I'm not wanting your energy right now. Pace. Right. Right, Claire. That's what I tell everybody. I said, look, I'm not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody's my cup of tea. I can't like everybody. And I know damn well most people don't like me. But I'm okay with that because I've accepted that if you're not a very real person and you're not in, you know, like – a, a good soul we're not gonna get along because i'm gonna end up calling you out and then you're gonna get all butt hurt and you're gonna be like you're so mean no i'm not i'm just not gonna take your bs and run with it these are facts and i'm not gonna let you lie to me or lie to yourself like you know hi well for me as a streamer i've changed from single fox out there fox never hoe in the streets fox if i hoe i'm in the dms i'm doing my thing but even people who know me i'm not aggressive in dms but i keep my personal stuff off of here but recently with being with Nat and being in a relationship i decided that i do not have time for friends or fellow streamers who are hiding streaming or any aspect of streaming from their significant other I can't. I can't be friends with you on this app if you are dating somebody outside of this app and they're com they don't know about this. I, I can't because then you're not talking about them. We're not talking about them. And that's a big component of your life. I don't want to meet you and then me and you have a little backstory. And let's say it's not just meeting, even if it's a virtual meeting of your significant other. And now how am I supposed to explain that? Now I have to tell them a whole lie about Nat, who I met on this app because that, per guess what? I'm gonna cut it in the butt. Oh, so your significant other doesn't know you're on here, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, fiance, friends with benefits, side piece, whatever. I don't got time, because I got my girl, I love her. She matters to me and I'm building life for us, which means if we're meeting people, we're meeting people as a couple together to grow. Right. I want that. Aww. I got you. So here, I'll give you guys a peek of the shirt. So it's a Croatia flag. I got this for World Cup. a lesson from Mr. Fox, gentlemen and ladies. You can get many lessons from me, especially about stuff on this app. I love this app, and I know it very well. I'm also 44, oh, yeah. so I know a lot about love. Sorry, guys. Well, I'm just I, adjusting I, the camera. No, you're all right. I think that yeah. um, that is... is What's up on the front? That is just a pouch sticking out, and here's the back. <coughs> Canada. I was going to my friend's house to watch the World Cup game for Canada, and then Canada lost, unfortunately, and Croatia was in the semifinals. So when I showed up at his house, I had four jerseys, one for me and one for him and two for his family. Aww. I wear it because it's red and it works with the drip. Canada strong. Canada strong. That's awesome. That's awesome. Consistency is key. Yeah. So, well, with, okay, so consistency. How have you, and I'll ask, how have you guys all adapted with this change? Easy. I love it. 
I'm struggling I to pick. I, I don't want to pick a side. I don't, you know, I'm struggling with it because I like both. Um, that, they both have their own and downs. I have a new fence, but I've never sat on the fence. So my loyalty is with Meet Me. I've had my account since 2017. From 2017 to 2022, I was just a viewer, never really on for a while, off for years. But since February 26th of 2022, when I hit that go live button, I streamed the next day. And from then I said, yeah, I'm streaming on Meet Me. I was here pre-POF. POF came, I was like, ooh. Eh. Now that I'm like, Pace, P-O- hey, POF, yeah, hey, oh, damn, hey, hey, grab the life preserver. Oh, 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 you, you swimming like a brick. Oh, sugar. Like, respectfully, once again. Hypothetically, I think, that's I think both situation. they have, have potential. Yes, but they have to go in different directions. POF mm-hmm. has to start from the ground up and find new streamers, whether it be from other platforms, aka tag. TikTok, other ones, or just brand new people get out there, start promoting, because streaming is on the rise. Yeah, I agree. They recently said they made changes once again. Those they said they're looking into that. I um, thing I so for those of you guys that are kind of like you know who who did the the matching and stuff, I wasn't gonna match. I was gonna throw all my eggs in one basket. But when the Meet Me said that I had the opportunity to do my show over here, it was an absolute no-brainer. To If I can do my show here and there, that's two hours a week instead of just one where I'm, you know, because when this hour is done, it doesn't matter what we talk about. I feel fucking, I freaking feel better. I'm sorry, Chris. Um, I feel better. I leave when this show oh, is hey done. Guys, I, I feel like a whole new person. Here? I did accidentally do something wrong. I don't know if you guys caught it, but it was nothing compared to that. I was like, oh, because I was sitting here outside. I was like, oh, and then she's like, ha, ha. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, what the? Look, I got, no, you, you got I, that? I don't, I don't yeah, curse a lot during this one hour, but sometimes I let it slip. Okay, I got the potty mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I. Uh, <laughs> I decided putting all my eggs in one basket was not the smart decision. And I decided that when I was, when they said that I could do my show here, that was just a no brainer. And even if I can't keep my top badge on both ends to be able to do this show twice a week is absolutely amazing to me. And so I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited. Easiest way to not swear is rarely swear yeah <laughs> I, am just telling you, I am if anybody's heard me cuss people out in the randoms i can say anything i want but i always remember one thing although i don't have kids i have kids that are around me or in earshot earshot and if i'm out in public and i'm in the middle of a mall and 200 people can hear me because i'm yelling at somebody i don't want to say something offensive that someone can be like ah my kid heard that yeah well, I mean, I'm alone a lot, so <laughs> it's just like me and you guys. Imagine the difference. Like me standing in the middle of a food court yelling at the top of my lungs. Oh, my God. You eh, an elephant. Or, hey, you suck because your dad likes to engage in horizontal activities with an elephant without any <laughs> friction between y'all. Smooth. <laughs> Everyone will be like, what uh, the hell? Without any garments. <laughs> See? I got a potty mouth. I don't, it is what it is, man. If you, like, when I had my grandkid around, I don't cuss nearly as much. But, like, for me, it's little, easier. little ones around, I just got a trucker's mouth. I can't help it. For me, it's easier to stay off and turn it on when needed rather than be on and be forced to turn it off in situations. It's a lot harder. Yeah. When you're turned on, it's a lot harder to turn off. I agree. I agree. Sorry for the yawns. That's all right. The sun's um, coming. Up. Bless up. It, it is such a beautiful day. I don't know why I'm even yawning because I'm not tired. Um, I slept pretty decent. <laughs> um, Can you guys stop? You guys are so bad. Brett. Hi, Brett. 
Damn, thanks. <laughs> the flaming is real. I love your chat. It's so amazing. Sashi spelled my name wrong. <laughs> Two X's. Thank, Thank you for the roses. Hey, hey, yo, here, do you hear the pot yelling at the kettle over here? Hey, hey. Um, I was corrected back. once. Look, look I'm going to help you sign. make sure it stays sign. right now. She's trying to hide the sign with her head that's quite I large. You should look at the small I action. Fixed it. That. There's, a, there's a second little X there. It's there. I stream every day, 7.07 a.m. and 1.01 p.m. roughly for about two hours, and anything in the p.m. is a bonus unless I fall asleep. I, um, yeah, I think for me, it's, it's, I'm excited. I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm really glad I get to do my show twice a week. Well, I'm hoping. I still haven't talked to the POF people yet, but, um, the, the fact that they were able to get me matched and get me set up over here made today absolutely amazing. Kind of, I needed it. I needed this. Why did you need it? Or why do you think you need it? Because it's the one hour a week where I have somebody else and we talk about things and we talk through things and it just, it makes me feel better. It's, it's nice to know that I'm not the only one going through something or the only one thinking about, well, this kind of like how you were saying, like, you know, if you're in a relationship and you're on here, your person needs to know and stuff, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's learning how other people do things and it's, it's, learning different ways of things and how different people view different things or there's a lot to it there's a lot to it and it it really helps me get out of my head it, it gets me out of my own head for at least this one hour it's not all my stresses in the world it's you and me and whatever we're talking about what's stopping you from staying in your own head but within your own head, you're comfortable, you're at peace, and you're just relaxed and enjoying it and not allowing anybody to disrupt that. What's stopping that? I mean, it's not that it doesn't happen, and it's not that I'm always whatever, but it's just... It's, hey, get off my fence, man. Hey, hey, get off my fence. Hey. Hey, you better get off the... Hey, get out of here. Hey. It's... Sorry, it's, it's, See, they run on my fence. Look, they're playing games, man. Hey, it's, a, well, it's my one hour where. Sorry. Other people come to learn too. You know, other. Why people is that so funny for people? <laughs> but you don't. You you know the other times it's not just about good conversation. You know. I so. PTSD. The new fence. <laughs> and a lot of people don't like to make themselves vulnerable. You know, so. Having people who are willing to talk about their personal stuff is a big deal because you don't get a lot of that on this app. People will talk about events and and things like that, but not necessarily personal stuff. Facts. That's why I don't do auctions. That's why I don't do battle by rounds. That's why I do randoms, and that's why I stream the way I do because I just keep it real. I don't do boards and all that stuff. I have two whiteboards downstairs, but they still say level 50 from when I leveled up because I just go with the flow and I say, you know what, people appreciate – not knowing what they're going to get sometimes, but they know somehow, some way they're going to get something good. Yeah. Now, the hardest part is you as a streamer have to be that person to ensure that you're able to manage that, ma manage people being interested in your stream, managing, giving people respect, giving people time, appreciating diamonds, appreciating hearts, doing battles, people sending in battles, and then da -da 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 -da, trolls. It's a lot to handle, but if you can handle it, you will. But one thing's for sure. It is February what, 9th? There are 20 days left in this month, three weeks. You take these three weeks and say, let me practice something and start at March 1st. March is 31 days. However, St. Patrick's in there, just March 17th, respectively. 31 days, say, I'm gonna do something every day. Five push-ups, 10 squats when I'm brushing my teeth. Walk around the block, give myself 10 minutes a day, every day to sit back, relax, and just do this. 10 minutes, no phone, no nothing, no distractions, no dog, no kids, no bills, no nothing, just you. You hear that? No dog. Whatever works for you, works for you. You'll feel it. You will feel it. Squats in the shower, whatever. He said no dogs for 10 minutes a day. What are you going to do? What, what are you, you going to do? 
Me? I, don't think I, can, I can't be home and have him not up my butt. <laughs> What's up, Velma? <laughs> well, then sometimes you have to not be home, and even if not home is just outside. For him, if you're outside around the block or outside in the backyard, you're not home, not home, as long as he can, can't see you. Train him. What up, Velma? Emoji J. Uh, I, I, that one's not going to work for about another two weeks. He's got seven staples in his neck right now. He got into a dog fight. So can I ask you a question about today? Huh? Can I ask you a question about today? Yeah. How do you plan on going after me if you only have four minutes left in your one hour future show? We kind of just did it together. I asked you a couple questions that correlated to mine and made it work. I didn't expect that. You didn't. I'm, I'm good you at adapting mistake, and adjusting. Say, you made the mistake of saying, oh, we have Mr. Fox on. I'm like, did I hear another guest? I get one hour of feet. Yo, come here. Yo, come here. Hi, my name is Fox. I stream every day. Stay with me. Yo, what up? I love red. Okay, good. <laughs> I have squirrels on my fence. Do you have, is that why your dog's always making noise? Cause you have some pigs in the back. You have a farm. I heard it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Hi Terry. Oh, what? Yeah. He picked a fight with another dog and lost. See? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I roll. They're used to me sitting outside just chilling. All right. Mr. Fox, is there anything you want to add to our discussion today before I let you go? If you want to take a walk, my back is ready later. Just a, a couple steps if you want, respectfully. Sorry. Uh, no, uh, I'm good. Hey, don't even, j Raz, listen. Don't do that. Uh, no, I'd like to say thank you for having me on the show. Thank you to everybody. And guys, remember, like Lily was saying, Read the room. Read the dog barking at the farm animals in the back, the pigs that are <laughs> there's there's pigs in the back. Now, guys, be your own animal. Transition. Be a good streamer. Be a shark. Be a wolf. Be a fox. Be a lamb. Be a squirrel. If you are a squirrel, don't get on my fence. I stream every day, 7.07 a.m., 1.01 p.m. Thank you for having me. I love living. I have some problems with my life, but living is the best thing they've come up with so far. Pat, facts. Guys. You got it, Jay? What is the best thing about your life right now? And we will discuss this next week. And you can also use this, guys. Death 